In this session, we are going to look at test project and how it integrates with GitHub. The purpose of GitHub is to track changes to our code. We can manage our work in different branches, manage our work in different environments, and store different versions of our code. The integration with test project allows us to synchronize our projects. Each project is stored as a repository with all their tests. Also, each update is automatically stored and documented in the repository. If you want more information, you can go to test projects documentation page, then search for GitHub integration. They also have some blogs by Elder and Mattel that speaks about version control with an example, GitHub integration CI flow. For the prerequisites, we need an active test project account and GitHub account. Then get a personal access token from GitHub. I will start by showing how to create a personal access token, then create the integration between GitHub and test project. After the integration, we are going to view the history and committed changes to a test. A personal access token is created by going to github.com forward slash settings forward slash token. Then click the generate new token button. Enter a name like a test project and GitHub <laughs> integration. Then select repo. At the bottom, we generate the token. The token allows us to access the GitHub API. We copy the token by clicking the icon next to the token. Now go to the integrations page on test project, select Git, then toggle for GitHub. Next step is to enter our organization or username. The organization or username must be the same name in GitHub, Rex Jones II. So when you enter the name, next we paste the access key, which is the access token. Next, on this page, we have the option of selecting all projects or selecting a specific project. I am going to select test project tutorial and AI self-healing technology. Then save. The projects are synchronized by showing private. So when I go to GitHub and reload the page, we now see two more repositories with an icon that looks like a lock and it shows private. We can always edit or configure GitHub integration by clicking that gear icon next to GitHub. Then we click next if we want to update the project. Also, the projects tab, it shows us which projects are integrated and synchronized with GitHub by showing a GitHub icon, blue, for AI self healing technology and test project technology. If you want to stop the integration and synchronization, click these three dots and we see stop git sync. In addition, we can start synchronization process for a project by selecting sync with git. Let's look at my first project and we could just sync with Git and click OK. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and make an update to the test. For each test, there is a history that includes all of the changes. Let's make a change to the first test. I'm going to select the last step and scroll down to Advanced Options. And within Advanced Options, when to take a screenshot, 
take a screenshot always and save the step and save and exit. So I'm going back to this ellipsis, going to the ellipsis for parallel test execution. And we see show history. And we see and history has been committed and updated a few seconds ago. Right now, it's only one change that can be downloaded, imported, copied, or opened in GitHub. Let's make another change. I'm going to click the same test. This time, I'm going to also click the fifth step to edit, to type a password. And let's go down to advanced options again. And I'm going to take a screenshot, always. Save step, save and exit. This time, we should see two updates. Bingo. Okay, so at this point, we, see, we saw two committed changes. I'm going to play the test to see each screenshot. Select Chrome, select Next. I'm going to run the test. The test finished running. So now I'm going to reports and view the test report by going to test project tutorial. Reload. On the reports page, we see parallel test execution. And we see the timestamp, the date and time, and I'm going to look at both steps, and we see how both steps shows a screenshot icon. Clicking the login button, the screenshot is loading but they both have screenshots going back to GitHub. And we're going to select test project tutorial. And we see how parallel test execution shows update. Now I'm going to click the test. And we see that the code shows red and green highlights. The difference is red is the previous com commit while green is the most recent commit. It changed from showing take screenshot inherit to always for the last step, for the step. So at this point, it shows how the integration between test project and GitHub is successful. Uh, thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.